Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will address virtually at the US Climate Summit on Thursday night, urging formation of a $100 billion annual global climate fund and seek support for Bangladesh in expanding its renewable energy sector. Bangladesh on Thursday reports 4014 COVID-19 cases, taking the tally of infections to 7,36,074. The virus has claimed 98 lives overnight, leading the death toll to 10,781, DGH has said. The World Bank on Thursday signed a $250 million financing agreement to help Bangladesh create more and better jobs, recover faster from the COVID-19 pandemic and build resilience to future crises. The movement of private vehicles has increased significantly over the last few days, even though the government has extended the ongoing lockdown. The movement of private vehicles and rickshaws are allowed only to those who have movement passes to commute, police said. The overall progress of the country's first metro rail construction work stands at 61.49%. The physical progress of the first phase construction of the metro rail from Uttara to Agarga is 83.52%, said Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Khader on Thursday. Rain and thunder showers accompanied by temporary gusty wind are likely to occur at few places over Rangpur, Ratshahi, Maimon Singh, Silet and Dhaka, meteorological department forecasts. The temperatures are likely to fall by 1 degree centigrade to 3 degree centigrade at night all over the country. India reports more than 3 lakh coronavirus cases over the last 24 hours, the highest daily global total, taking the tally to 15.93 million. The deaths rose by 2,104 to reach a total of 1,84,657. The US State Department adds at least 116 countries to its Level 4 Do Not Travel Advisory list. The UK, Canada, France, Israel, Mexico, Germany, Finland, Egypt, Belgium, Turkey, Italy, Sweden, Switzerland and Spain are among the list. Singapore quarantines more than 1,100 migrant workers for 14 days after about a dozen COVID-19 cases were found in a dormitory. Authorities are also investigating the possibility of reinfections among those who had recovered from the virus. Bangladesh ends the second day at 474-44 with Mushfikur unbeaten on 43 and Liton on 25. Landmark scores from Bangladesh skipper Mominul Haq and Nazmal Hussein Shanto helped Bangladesh pile up a mammoth score at Palikele International Stadium in Kanati.